That's turned to severe drought in parts of southern Africa. Zimbabwe is considering importing corn from Brazil for the first time since 2014 as the El Nino weather pattern withers crops. Malawi and Zambia also have declared a state of national disaster. Let's bring in Bloomberg's Ondira Oganga in Kigali for more on this. Ondira, corn obviously a staple. What impact is being felt? Vonnie, it's great that you asked that question because at the core of natural disasters like these are people. And SADC is estimating that 20 million people are in need of humanitarian assistance. And if you look at these rainfall patterns from January to March, they're the worst rainfall patterns in 40 years. If we zoom into Zimbabwe, February was their driest month and nearly 80 percent of the country received below average rainfall. What then this means is that it affects agricultural production. Corn production was slashed by about 20 percent in South Africa. Six percent in Zimbabwe and their president in a televised national address was telling them that they will need about two billion dollars to mitigate the impact of this drought we are seeing kids quitting school to be because of hunger we are also seeing kids getting married off in just in trade for grain so the situation is very dire in Zimbabwe if we also look at um, a country like Zambia inflation is now on the rise food inflation is at 15.6 percent and it's mainly driven by the prices of bread prices of cereal and prices of milk it. And this just goes to speak of the unchecked effects of climate change because these three countries that have declared a state of national emergency, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, are self-sufficient countries that otherwise would be able to produce enough to sustain themselves. It sounds catastrophic. We mentioned Brazil. What import options are Miller is considering at this point? Well, the Grain Millers Association will be heading to Sao Paulo, Brazil, to try and acquire 300,000 tons. But this is just a drop in the ocean for a country that consumes about 2.2 million tons of grain annually. White corn is such a staple in Southern Africa, used to make pap and sadza. And the tragedy here is that they cannot import from South Africa because South Africa also has its own shortage going on. This just means that it's going to add to their wage bill. Import is going to be really expensive. And so it's going to put pressure on the inflation, which is at already 55.65 percent. But then again, this acquisition, very, very important because this drought is expected to impact production in the third quarter of 2024 all the way to the first quarter of 2025. So things will get tough before they get better for me.